It's Eva here on a beautiful sunny day in November in southern Arizona and I'm going to be talking to you about intuition and what it means to me and how it has guided me in my life and my art. And to me intuition is the inner voice which comes from your higher self and I believe we all have intuition but you have to use it or you lose it. How can we develop our intuition? Uh, one way is through meditation, which helps us to access intuition. Sometimes we get answers during our meditation from our inner voice. Another way to develop intuition is to live in the now, not in the past or the future. Intuition works best when your mind is in the present. Another way is to stay positive. Don't focus on the negative aspects like illness, death of a loved one, old age, pain. If you focus on that, it draws attention to it. Um, I don't deny those things, but they are all part of life. But thinking or talking about our ailments draws attention to them. Instead, send positive messages to your intuition, your higher self, and keep it well charged. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. In my own life, I've used my intuition making decisions, small and big ones. One example was a few years back, I bought a luxury SUV without using my intuition. Instead, I was listening to my ego talking about how glamorous and pretty it was. Well, the car drove okay for about a year and it completely died in my friend's driveway one day. I had to have it towed to the mechanic who said he checked it out and he said, oh, I can't fix it. It's one of 23 computers. And so I learned my lesson from that experience. Always listen to my intuition when I buy a car. And now I drive simple and easy to repair cars. Also in buying a house, I listen to my inner voice. If it wasn't clear, I would hold off making a decision and keep looking. You know, some people say, you'll know this is the right place when you walk in the door. And I believe that to be true. And it's happened every time I buy a house. That's your intuition. Anyway, at times my intuition can speak to me before something happens. And this is what's called premonition. When it comes, you see it or you hear it, and then it happens. And I think premonition is part of intuition. So I had this happen to me one day as I was leaving the parking lot of a mall, and the inner voice said to me three times, very clearly, accident, accident, accident. So I began to drive out onto the highway. I proceeded with extreme caution. And not more than three blocks away, the car in the next lane hit a motorcycle. So luckily, I had a right-hand turn. I made a right-hand turn at the same time and missed the whole thing because I listened to my intuition. At that point, I knew my intuition would never fail me. And when that voice speaks loud and clear, you listen. The last thing I was going to talk about is using my intuition in my art as cre creativity. So, and I use it in daily business dealings. Any business, you can use intuition. When I'm sitting at my table, my work table, or my easel, I use it. Okay, right now there's a huge movement called intuitive painting which is an outcome of the abstract expressionist movement from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And it started in the early 2000s. And now you go online, there's endless websites of artists painting and teaching intuitive painting. You don't need any training for it. It's totally non-judgmental. And it's not competitive at all. Paint from your heart, unplanned, totally unplanned. 
It helps you learn the difference between your analytical and judging mind and your innate intuitive intelligence. For those of us who have art training and years of practice painting, it's not an easy task. You have to turn off your internal dialogue and just go with the flow of your intuitive thoughts. So if we use this gift, we all have cultivate it and listen to it. I believe you will be successful in all your endeavors in life.